And we are back. Germ? Now I'm thinking about candy. Back to <laughs> all these May, holiday treats. May are you um, uh, May are you talking about us? Mm, <laughs> Literally know. like and we are back. Back to watch this fiasco. Again. <laughs> it's like May. What May the, fourth that hurts. Ball. Come on. Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. <laughs> I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Nice. <laughs> that felt very meta. <laughs> it did. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Uh, I was up all night. Uh, they were fixing the roof door. How could you tell if he's tired? There's nothing that indicates that he's tired. I th I think we're just supposed to assume. Okay. They are very expressive about all the other things. They so are. It's, like, okay. it's just like his eyes aren't half closed. Like he has the same expression. It's just like, it, wait. It would be nice if they did a little something. But yeah, yeah, like a little underling under his eye, like to represent that he's tired. Yeah. It was super loud. It also might be based off of what we did, so they didn't change the character models up, but they changed the dialogue, maybe. Yeah, that's true. Roof door. Yeah, the the door at the top of the stairs that goes out to the roof. Now I can, like, uh, I don't know, run down for the door, then down in the lobby, and up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but uh, that's not... Uh, What's to stop random people from uh, doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Mmm, sorry. Maybe I'm just tired. Fair enough. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Oh boy, here we go. Pumpkin head guy. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, oh god. fuck. Oh fuck. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, this is a two finger one. Yeah, you. Ooh. This sucks. This is hard. Bam. Bam. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Okay, I'm trying to hold the controller like so I can read it better. But it's. Uh, I want to talk about the music out. stuff, but at the same time, I want you to concentrate so you can actually do it. Dun 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 dun. dun. This this Ooh. is gonna this is hard, dude. Dun, 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 dun. At least it's repeating the same thing at least, but it's not. Doesn't make it any easier. Yeah, it's it's also. I don't know. I wish I could play this on a old Guitar Hero controller, and then yeah. I'd be like, "All right, I can get it now. Well, this is this is good." You probably could if we could find a way to hook it up to our uh, computer. Yeah, but then I did, oh, I just only like pick up that one. Yeah. Because you could like select the buttons and make them work. I don't know if they be color coordinated. No, why oh, would we need a color coordinated? Oh god. God ooh. damn. Yeah. Ooh. What the fuck is this? <sighs> ah! This is like. Uh... Oh come on, man! It's it's moving so much I can't even see it. Oh god. Did it? Yeah. Cool. Visuals are really cool. Uh, uh, yeah, really nailed that one. Yeah. Well, mate, that was. Uh... <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like it did okay then, because on some of the other ones where I didn't miss everything, that was his same response. So yeah, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song, and it was way fucking hard. Whew, so fast. You just pushed a button. Yeah, I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. <laughs> I know that feeling. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. <clears throat> this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid, and also I think it was my head after while I was sleeping. Anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. Hmm. Well. That's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No. Kind of freaked out. It probably it probably wasn't a ghost after all. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Uh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. No, dude, don't be like that. No, you don't be like that. You got us. Oh, okay. Dudes. Thank you. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghosty stuff happening around here, like from a source we can't trust. Such is. Ant Mall Cop. Does the newspaper have like a ghost section? Mm, probably not. But 
why is that a dumb question? Who? Wait, who said that was a dumb question? No, I literally think nobody... no one answers. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I guess context. You know, we could go check the library for books about it. No, they have the local paper on file, going back a century. If there's some secret history of goat uh, kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh, wow, I, I didn't know if they had that. I thought they just could, uh, like a broken. Uh, I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. That's when. Uh, when's the last time you were at a library? <laughs> last time I paid a fine. <laughs> we actually have one of the nicer ones around. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, huh? how? <laughs> Rich dude who paid for it way back when. Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh... Sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> the library. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, the library's Ooh. under... <laughs> I was gonna say, is the, under... is the underground the library? <laughs> It might actually be like the left section of the library or the left section of yeah, the underground section that we never same, went to. Like, kind of like color scheme going on. Yeah. Look, jobs. Weird. Like, when this was painting, painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. <laughs> We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forgot that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Big downer. Pumpkin head guy. Dun, 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 dead. He's dead, and so is Maya. Oh, wow, she's actually Ooh, walking RPG with me. RPG party, hell yeah! yeah. Where's Beat. Gino? <laughs> Hi, Miss Librarian. Hey. Closing, two hours. Okay, cool. She looks like a librarian. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfiche. Microfiche. Fish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. I've seen those in movies, but I've never gone to a library that actually had them. I've, n I've heard. There might be one in our local libraries, but I've never seen it either. Hmm. Slow night. Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Larry! Larry's gonna spook us, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm Larry. <laughs> it might be the same guy from the <laughs> from the bus stop or whatever. Oh god, a working elevator. Be. It could be. If it is, that's not his voice. <laughs> Let's see. There's the computers. Ooh. There's an on computer. It's even got that gross cardboard board like, you know, waffle thin boarding to it too and everything. <laughs> Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Oh, no. Bob Tog. Born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old, May. I mean, you should have money then, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Ideally. It should be like Guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. Should be guaranteed in general. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> you fucking socialist! <laughs> oh, it actually does say that. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? No, I'm cool. You sure? Sounds like work. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is that? <laughs> Holy crap! What? It's charity barity. What's charity barity? I'm sure you'll tell us. <laughs> How do you not know charity barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five fucking years old. All right. Um, I think it's pronounced frickin'. No, fucking. So this was so this was a thing you liked as a kid. No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. Aww. It was like you were kidnapped by a cult. You were under some curse. Kidnapped by a cult. That does look very culty. When they were like brainwashing you. Instead of some cult guy it's with, just a a, book, May. with a wavy dagger and a magical mask. That's not... Uh, okay. Yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. Were you scared of it? No. I was bored to death. 
I was talking forever about, like, being kind to others. And, like, I don't know, helping another neighbor do... Helping an old neighbor do engine repair. Terrible things. <laughs> Sounds nice. Charity Barity helps old Mr. Plonko fix his hovercraft. Oh, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, pink nightmarity. Charity Barity, I just don't care -ity. Let's go. Oh, no, but there's more. Is there more? I thought it was just going to say the same thing. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. The one looks pretty old. Charity Barity, danger ever warity. It's vague. <laughs> and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. I guess. Ooh. Oh. Okay. No. Do we... <laughs> Were the microfiches back there? Maybe. I mean, they just look like computers, but... And that I didn't, one's on. I didn't Nothing. get a... Nothing. Maybe we gotta go upstairs? Go up to, like, another floor? Uh, she didn't say third floor. I thought it just kind of took us to the third floor. Oh. Going, going up. up. Okay. I kind of just assumed it took us there. That makes sense now. Now on the third floor. I'm kind of curious. Can we go back up? No, that just brings us right back down. Yeah. I was choices. hoping there was like a secret third, fourth floor. Secret third floor. Like, oh, they wouldn't have known that. Going it's up. actually the 13th floor. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. There's, there's like, uh, <laughs> there's 10 empty floors between there. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's dusty up here. It's old up here. I can't breathe. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yep. Ghost. Or something. Whatever he was, he walked through a fucking chain link fence, flew over it or something. Oh, it's invisible. While carrying something. All right, well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy, because he took someone. He's like, somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. How come Greg didn't come with us? I don't know. Maybe because ghost stuff is more... Bee's thing. Bee's thing. I mean, bee's thing. Yeah, bee's thing. It all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay. It was fine. <laughs> my ear wiggled there. Not I my ear, but uh, uh, Maze. I hope not your ear wiggle. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of awkward. And just like a like a nerve firing off. Yeah, like ah. This looks like a microfiche. All right, there she is. I think it looks like a computer. Cool. It has a. Uh, I'm standing in front of it. I can't oh. really describe it better, but it has like a yeah, little, like a, a like a light uh, a light kind of kind of like a projector <sighs> kind of thing has. Yeah. So. I have no idea how to use it. We gotta find the microfiches. Really? I don't know how. Uh, <clears throat> I can't know how to do everything. No, you need to know how to do everything right away on your first time, you loser. That's what I do. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this this far? <laughs> this whole thing was my idea. No. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. He's got you there. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? He didn't, she didn't say it was stupid. Because you're my friend, you asshole. Mm. Yeah, the ear does wiggle. Aw. Uh. Aw, we friends, Beatrice. Yeah, let me get this set up. So, her oh. name is Beatrice, but B. the one is B. My stepmom's name Tris. is Deanne. Beatrice? And we just call her D. Yeah, but wouldn't it be Beatrice, so. What? No, you could just be. No, I get that's like maybe her nickname. It's but... Beatrice, so yeah, Beatrice. But like, okay, fine, whatever. But the, <laughs> Atris is there, and the you ain't winning this on. one. Right, comment section. I don't. Uh... <laughs> I do think they should have spelled it either just the letter B or B E E. Yeah, but the, yeah, whatever. If it's her nickname is B, then I get it. But if it's Beatrice is her full name, then <laughs> Bea. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Yeah, probably. That's what we tend to do. Oh, God. It's so bright, my eyeballs. All right, so what are we looking for? Tragedy at steer for mine. <laughs> I want to steer. No. Not, not the bottom one. Not the bottom one. Move, I'm steering. <clears throat> Ow. Jeez, May. Uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. How do we do this? Uh, Step one, look at the screen. Sit my coffee. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. 
Sure. Hell yeah. Uh, a tragedy at Stafford Mine. An, an explosion occurred at 6.20 a.m. at the Stafford Mine. All work has ceased while men attempt to rescue any survivors. So far, three men have been pulled out alive along with 20 dead. The explosion occurred 10 miles deep in the mine and only one group of men were able to escape before the elevator's rope snapped and the next group of men plummeted to their death. So far, hopes to find- If a rope snaps in a mine, do you hear it? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, if a tree snaps in a mine, you don't hear it. Oh, God, I knew it was one of them. Only the canaries did. Oh, but if we send in four canaries, how many canaries do we have left? Five dogs. Oh, shit. I don't know. It felt like It, it felt like it was, uh, no, 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 no. Golden Retrievers. Oh, right, right, right. Because it's, it's mine, and maybe they were many gold. I don't, fuck, I don't fucking know. And they're retrieving it for us. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. There's a joke in there somewhere. Everything all makes sense in this thing. <laughs> so far, hopes of finding more survivors is slow. The main path to the tunnel caved in due to the explosion, and supervisors are still attempting to piece together exactly where everyone was during the accident. Hmm. Oh boy, hold on a second. Let's see, let's get the let's get a bearing for how big this is. There is a lot going on here. We got rid of Okay, let's let's do let's do top <sighs> left and go through. Alright, we'll take turns. <laughs> pie piracy. Dear citizens, please make note to keep your pies safe from during pleasant weather. The pleasant weather we're experiencing. Several ladies have reported pies from their kitchens disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, <laughs> The picky culprit is leaving behind only rhubarb pies. Cool with that. Brr, until this criminal is caught or to bad weather returns. We remind our housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors or stick to the rhubarb. Arr. <laughs> this uh, this advertisement I cannot do a pirate voice for very long. <laughs> oh my throat. <laughs> this article brought to you by the rhubarb citizen, citizens. Rhubarb. Uh, the Stanley T. Possum statue, known to the residents as Posse, is finally slated for demolition. Posse closed in 1967, but Richard, uh, Richard Coulson, son of Samuel Coulson. Samuel? Uh, no one names their kids Samuel. Uh, what about Agent Coulson? Oh. I don't even know. That's probably spelled differently. Had hopes of... Actually, no, I think that's how it's spelled in Marvel, too. Nice. Had hopes of refurbishing the statue for new generations. Posse oh, no, wait. It's both an O. C-O-L. That's so when I think. I thought so, but I don't know. Whatever. Posse stood silent for close to 60 years, uh, witnessing the beginnings of the demise of the railroad. The mines and the coke works were ushered in in his existence. Teens and other vandals broke into Posse over the years. Broke into Posse? What? He broke uh, in, they broke into the statue? What? <laughs> How big is Posse? No, it just says Posse's. Uh, posse over the years, and climbing over through Posse became a rite of passage to many young people in the area. Climbing up through Posse. Okay, that makes sense. You can't, it's a statue big enough that you actually can go inside of it then. Like huh. the, like the, uh, like the, uh, that lady with the torch in, uh, New York. The thing that has the, uh, the, uh, what is it? The, uh, cowbell attached to it. Over by Ellie's Isle. Yeah, when? over by that island that's half sunken and, uh, what's it, his name? Is it actively sinking? No. Oh. <laughs> I did go there once, but they, it was after 9-11, uh, so I wasn't allowed to go in. Ah, okay. Residents have been torn over what to do with the uh, beloved but derelict structure over the years, but three years ago, pressure began mounting to have it torn down. Storm knocked off Posse's ear, and next Fox year- Fox tried to kill me. <laughs> next year, Ralph- for anyone else who can't see the visual thing that <laughs> Sam just did, but it, like there's a little, thorn in what your thorn. ass or what? No, it's in my shoe. Oh, it's in my slipper. Wait, you're blaming my dog for putting something in your shoe? No, no, no. I'm blaming Jed's <laughs> dog, not your dog. You telling me you couldn't have possibly stepped on something and got it there? No, no, no. Definitely a fox. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Storm knocked off Posse's ear, and then the next year, Ralph Jenkins fell from the staircase and broke both his legs. Samantha Coulson. Samantha Colson Glick, daughter of Richard Colson Glick, finally agreed that it was time for Posse to go. The demolition will begin at 12 p.m. on Saturday, and viewing areas will be set up at a safe distance. Oh, I was like, what the fuck was that sound? It yeah, was the, that's it was a the, cool sound effect. Yeah, that's awesome. Progress Springs in Possum Springs. Renford Stafford, owner of Bell's Hole Mine Works, has partnered with Samuel Colson, owner of Colson Coke Works, Daniel Glick, Railroad magnate and prominent business owner Harrison Schergeist. Schergeist? 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 To make more stunning improvements through the town, the four men desire to build a model of progressive living right here in Balsam Springs. The old miner 
double houses on Elm Street will be torn down and replaced with spacious single homes. A new elementary school will be open near, where, where was that open? Will be open nearby along with a new state of the art recreation center courtesy of Arnold Eppelbaum with his additional improvements Ranfoldolf Stanfordolf promised to re previously striking monitors. I have a feeling it didn't go through. I have a thing it go, didn't go through either. There's been another sighting of the albino groundhog for a very... The albino groundhog? From a very reliable source this time. Edgar Stutter, student style goes Stutter, reports that he saw the pure white beast digging near Shap, uh, Shade Gap. Uh, Miss Stutter, Mr. Stutter has declined to give any more of an exact location and implores his fellow hunters to admire this anomaly from afar, anomaly from afar and leave him to his business. Yeah, he's got to dig for holes. Yeah. We, we could not agree more with this upstanding citizen and reminding folks that if you are interested in seeing an albino creature, to stop by Sudi's uh, bar, barber shop for a peek at the albino raccoon. He's currently this, uh, we're current, we're certain this will assist your mind in completing the search for the groundhog. Oh, little Joe! Little Joe information. That might be the next one. Well, we'll do. We'll do this. We'll one. do strike. We'll do strike, yeah. and then we'll go down another layer. <sighs> strike! A strike at Stanford Mind has been called. The idea first arose at the memorial of the 1888 explosion victims. Oh, for the 1888 explosion victims, miners gathered in the home of Arthur Borowski. Oh shit! Ah. To continue the memorial to their friends. So he they, was he. Well, hold on. Was he one of the fucking? Oh, because we was read we part of the piracy. Wait, is he we, the rhubarb pie stealer? We, did, we, we read earlier that what was it? Four of them died. Yes. Or four of them lived out of twenty. Yeah. Three men have been pulled out alive with twenty dead. So I think we're reading chronologically across this now. And since we started in the middle, I was like, oh shit. Okay. Yeah. So miners gathered in the home of Arthur Borowski to continue the memorial to their friends. They also began recounting all of the promises the bosses had reneged on this past year, including basic safety measures to avoid another explosion. That's pretty, pretty much on par. With yeah. Everything. Yeah. That's pretty standard, unfortunately, and shouldn't be that way. A group of 20 miners entered to begin the strike, and more than 30 joined them before morning. All work has been stopped at the mine, and the miners are now striking in eight-hour shifts. Their wives and children have begun to bring food and water for the men. The bosses have started, oh, have stated, sorry, that little... Yeah, I'm trying to like, yeah, I'm no, trying yeah, to like get it out of your way, but... Have it's... stated that the mines have, the mines are safer than they were a year ago, and that there is no need to act in this manner. Yeah, I'm not sure they believe you. Yeah, I was on the safety council for my job previously, and, uh... A lot gets overlooked. Uh, we'll get it when we get the budget. And it's like, no, or when no. you assign it, because I'm holding you your ass it. to the fucking flames. We're getting yeah. this done. No, this is happening before we go back out there. <laughs> Safety stand down. Don't think so. Oh, what? That's how PG&E works, though. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Look, <laughs> yeah, look, still don't worry about it. Still don't worry about it. Local ghost, little Joe, at it again. Nice. This is what we're looking for. I think. I think so. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, reportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, oh. a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decade ago. I'm gonna move it like to the side, guys. Sorry, the square does go up. Yeah, it I'm not good at reading already, and this definitely makes it worse. Right. It's a favorite uh, spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activity seems to be involved getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors of the largest uh, graveyard in Deep Hollow County. Oh, is that behind the... Is the, the church has a graveyard. Yeah, it does. Or a, a cemetery that might be the same one. Mm -hmm. uh, his grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local use. And in such Possum Springs, City Council has considered erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Uh, police have been stepping up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers. You may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Samuel Coulson I'm gonna put it off on the side. has there you go. purchased 10 <laughs> the acres of land on the outskirts of Possum Springs. When we inquired as to see what Mr. Coulson would use the land for, he would only remark that what was coming here would delight both young and old for years to come. We are very anxious to be delighted. <laughs> 
underground gases affect afflict many. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, the houses on Lark Street have been evacuated after the discovery of gas building up in basements. Uh, gas build up in the basements uh, was found to have led to hallucinations in scattered members of the household. <laughs> Sounds like carbon monoxide poisoning. It does. For the past several weeks, residents have been complaining of family members who began hearing voices or seeing things that were not there. One elder woman was found having an animation, animated discussion. Animation discussion. Sam, were you there with her? Oh, yeah, you know what? I was talking to... Just uh, off in the fumes. Uh, <laughs> God, I was going to say her name, but I can't remember her. June Frey. I was yeah, having a discussion with June Frey's ghost, and it was, it was really good. She told me stories about how Rocky uh, used to trick Bullwinkle. Interesting. Uh, with an empty chair. When pressed, she calmly explained that she was talking to her sister, who had passed to go away some 50 years ago. Two nights ago, the son of Carson Zimmer came, uh, ran out of the house and led, leapt into Cooper's Pond one mile up the road. Moments before this child, uh, moment before, moments before this, the child had been reading, sorry guys, ready okay. for bed, and according to another sibling, became in, uh, increasingly agitated. The last words he utters were, uh, uttered, God damn me, were about some sort of song before he dashed out of the house and into the night where his watery grave awaited him. This last event persuaded residents to request help from officials to see if this is related to St. Leuven's Lantern, a phenomenon where exposure to specific underground gases leads certain victims to experiencing waking dreams, auditory hallucinations, and the sense of unseen presences. Sounds like... Sounds like fucking sleep paralysis. It does sound a little bit like that. Uh, preliminary tests indicate the gas is present in the homes and mining officials were moving the residents until more tests can be completed. Hmm. I mean, I, I recommend you get an hybrid six uh, multiple gas meter. Maybe maybe check and see what kind of gases are down there, detect them, and then you can uh, <coughs> arrange to have things worked out yeah, in such a way. Yeah, you just have to be over this one. Um, new old town store in town center. The old pickaxe hardware store is said to have its grand opening this Saturday. We received a sneak peek of the store yesterday, and our town will benefit greatly from this new addition. Roy Burge is bringing 25 years of building experience into this new venture and has stocked the shelves with all the nuts, bolts, and nails you would need for any project plus the latest in tools. Stop by to see the latest trends in everything from hand saws to hammers. Best of luck, Mr. Burge. Best of luck, Burge. So is that what Sam Coulson Samuels was building, or is that... Burge? Big? No. Uh, well, Burge uh, Col is the... Coulson, is, Coulson got a plot of land to build something that is going to entertain everyone or something like that? I thought that's maybe what he was building, but they were bringing in Roy Burge to build it for him. Well, uh, this is in the town center. The other oh. one says it was plot of land on the outskirts. That's Plus, true. This is old where pig B. Ex, yeah, that's right. The old B pickaxe works. still works. Yeah, never mind. Sorry. But wasn't there something before the old pickaxe? Mm. Wasn't there was like Litwicks or something like that? There was a, there was like yeah. a faded lettering or something over it. Do you want to start at the one at the very bottom? Uh, explosion occurred. We already oh, read yeah, that that's one. Right. Uh, Tragedy at the mine. This Here we go. We read that one. We, we didn't Daniel read this T. one. Okay. Possum. Yeah, I don't think we've read that yet. The Daniel T. Possum statue was officially open to the public, and we have to say we are smitten. For two cents, one can enter Stanley and spend quite a lovely time looking at the possums, looking at the possum springs of yesteryear, uh, in the museum. So it was a it was a museum and a statue. Okay. That's pretty interesting. That is interesting. Enjoying some popped corn and fresh lemonade in the snack parlor decorated with Tiffany glass electric lights before heading up to up a full 10 feet to see the sights of our beloved town through the eyes of this grand We possum. haven't seen that, have we? That statue? Uh, I don't think so, unless that's Stanley T. Possum. I assume he's a possum. Unless it's that statue we've been seeing in that's, town, but it's way too small. There's the bird statue over by the church, and... I wouldn't call that climbable inside, yeah, but it's no. only a full 10 feet. That bird statue that also just sounds like it'd be two, two stories tall. Yeah, that bird statue also looks a lot like that uh, celestial star thing we saw as well. And Pastor K. Yeah. Although Pastor... all the birds kind of look the same. Yeah, all the birds have the same similar design. Tiffany glass electric lights. So it should light up inside at least. Huh. Uh, there is in... <laughs> There's even a beautiful train diorama that will delight both young and old. We predict Stanley T. Possum will be a sight that all passing through our town would desire to behold and will be sure to draw many crowds. Interesting. Is I'm going to guess it was 
in in town somewhere if it's going to be so, a big too. grand thing for everyone to to look at i'll go down a, a line a set of uh, lines oh you're yeah, okay uh, there we go possum massacre okay possum massacre severe violence broke out at the stanford mine strike today does it help to have it like down at the bottom, easier oh, to read. A little food. bit. Okay. Um, I noticed it's kind of hard at the top. Yeah. The bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown at the National Guard and strike breakers opened fire on the crowd. Holy fuck, dude. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene revealed. Nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle who was on strike below when the shooting broke out. The photographer of the two children, aged seven and nine, who were shot in cold blood, is circulated far outside of our little county. A heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site met with the strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in and finally talks began. 45 days since the start of the strike. The bosses have agreed to comply to the current safety standards and honor the demands of the miners. That's fucking dark. That is bad. Holy hell. Events. The last trolley will make its run September 4th. Bernie Goss, uh, the longest employee with 25 years as an operator, will pick up passengers starting at the Market Street Tunnel entrance. So that must be what's below us, the Market Street Tunnel. Uh, I'd assume. And we'll yeah. end at the trolley garage where like I'm sorry you meant garage 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 uh, will be served and speech will be given by the congressman Archibald Reed twin club will be meeting at the stags on Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Uh, twin club what the fuck this month's craft will be knitting hats Twin club must be like an old person's club kind of like the uh, deer lodge or whatever I don't know. This month's crafts will be knitting hats for the soldiers along with the potluck. All mothers of twins of any age are welcome. Does this place have a lot of fucking twins? Well, we have seen a lot of characters that look very similar. I'm sure they could pass as twins. Ah, uh, this is all sounding a little similar to a lot of stuff. Yeah, spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Spoopy. Forest, forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from a great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state forest hills Possum Jump is a face uh, famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. <laughs> it also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Interesting. Very. Strike lumbers on. The strike is now on its 30th day. With No, that's probably the other one we should have read first. Yeah, probably. Uh, 30th day with no end in sight. The bosses have refused to meet with the miners, saying the demands are too fantastical. <laughs> They're asking for, you know... Safety regulations. Ropes and eyeglasses that yeah. are safety regula... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, asking for too much. Uh, also, you know... Helmets. Yeah. <laughs> and lights. Go figure. The miners Here's things to ask for. <laughs> the miners claim they are only asking the bosses to adhere to safety standards that are already the law. The National Guard was called in after last week's scuffle in the Colson Coke Works Union has joined the cause, which has picked uh, caused an uptick in national press arriving at the site. Mm. The women's camp has expanded its services from serving meals to beat, beating any non-union miner from entering the mines. Wow. <laughs> so far, they have been successful in both ventures. <laughs> All right, so I see why the I see why they called them in then. Yeah. For the events. Let's see. That's the one we went to. That's the one we went to. How much more of this do we got? There's okay. A lot. The last line. Oh. No, there's still a, yeah, there's still a we'll, chunk. We'll, we'll have to come back we'll next come time. We'll come back and, and read the last finish four. up the last four next time, guys. Sorry, we get stumbling over words. This is a lot of a lot of stuff to read out loud like this. I mean, it's not usually 
my type of job. It's, uh, it is, even though it's my type of job, it happens all the time. It's yeah. difficult. We'll see you guys next time where we're going to finish these up. Beep, yeah. bop, boo. Now, reading out loud is something where, like, no matter how good you get at it, it's still, every now and then, you get fumbled up. It's also, like, got this thing in front of us. That does not help, too. But it's easy to get tongue-tied. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're teaching as a professional. It's like, even professional actors, we don't see all the outtakes. Oh, they're perfect with, like, every audiobooks. time, just like May. Yeah, every single time.